Welcome back. Thank you very much for staying with us. Now, Mineral Resources and Energy Minister, that's Gwede Mantashe, is expected to deliver the keynote address at the Mpopo Mining, Energy and Industrialization Investment Conference. Now, the two-day conference kicks off today. This year's event shines a spotlight on how the wealth of opportunities and innovation in the mining and energy sector can help the country's economic recovery. Muloko Mudlete is there for us and joins us this morning. Good morning, Muloko. So, economic recovery is what is at the heart of this summit. They want to see how the mining opportunities can resuscitate our economy. Talk us through the exact program of the day. So Mfundo, mining actually is one of the biggest contributors to the economy of uh, Limpopo province, but not only this northernmost province, but also the GDP of the country. You would recall that there are over 40 mining operations in Limpopo province. And this investment conference, we are told, according to the statement that they issued, they are saying it's held under the theme realizing Limpopo's investment potential in mining and other strategic sectors of the economy. We understand that the mining activity will not only be a talking point here, as we also know that the issue of energy will also have to be discussed in this particular conference. This, of course, happening at a time when South Africa is going through a difficult time. Um, we are experiencing as South Africans rolling power cuts by ESCOM. And in fact, ESCOM has just now recently announced that uh, it's going to be implementing stage four continuously due to the fact that they are unable to get the fuel or the diesel at one of the coastal areas there. But let me speak to the MEC of uh, Limpopo's economic development. His name is Tabo Mukoni. He joins me now. MEC, thank you so much for making time. In essence, what are you trying to achieve? We are trying to bring uh, mining companies in Limpopo to invest uh, in this area. As you indicated, at some point we had uh, almost 143 mines. Most of the mines are at uh, maintenance and care. And now we are happy that some of the mines are being reopened. We can confirm that Arm has uh, bought uh, one of the biggest mines, uh, Bakoni mine. There are other Vanandia mines that have been opened. Uh, and uh, these mines are creating more jobs that are actually needed. But at the same time, what we're doing is that we want to get investors that will invest in energy. We have two SZ, that is Muslim Makado SZ and Fitahomi SZ, which will also generate the energy that is actually needed. In Muslim Makado Metallurgical Complex, we are going to invest almost 150 billion. We will also have. A, we are changing from a coal. Uh, power plant to hydrogen plant and also in uh, Skukun. We are also looking at alternative uh, source of energy. We are working together with uh, uh, South African companies, uh, Anglo-American, Exaro and other people to make sure that uh, we industrialize our, 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 our province. But at the same time, what we are doing is that the, the investment that was made, 208 billion, which was made last year, we want to check how far have we gone uh, did we put something on the ground? And I'm happy to say that uh, at least something is uh, being put on the ground. It is not just a talk shop. It's something that we, 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 are, we are doing. Okay. Now, if you're saying that you're also looking at the possibility of generating renewable energy, is this going to benefit only mining houses? What about the residents? Will they also derive some benefits there? We also have a smart, a smart city uh, concept. We do not want to have uh, the Mendupi situation. Remember, in Mendupi situation, we thought that uh, we are going to have a new city built in that area. This time around, with this investment, we are also putting a plan to build a, a, a smart city, which will also have all amenities. So it's not only about uh, mining houses. Like we have a dam, which, uh, which only supply water to the mining uh, community. We want uh, the, the infrastructure that we put to also benefit the people of the province. There's a general agreement that actually Limpopo province is the actual platinum province. Considering all these mineral deposits that this province has and juxtapose that with the levels of poverty, how 
is it that this mining activity are unable to lift the people out of the levels of poverty they find themselves in? Look, in the past, we will take all the minerals, raw as they are, to overseas. That's why we came up with the SEZ, where we are going to start the beneficiation process. Um, in Fitakomu uh, towards the SEZ, we are also working with Lenko to make sure that uh, we do not only, only take the minerals outside the country. And even in um, uh, Musina Makado SEZ, we want to do beneficiation where we'll do ferrochrome, we'll make sure that we do steel uh, and light industry. So that will in itself assist in um, making sure that uh, whatever endowment we have, it also assists the people of the province. Look, it's go gone are the days that um, all our minerals will just be exported to, 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 to overseas and our people are not benefiting. We are going to train our people in uh, different skills. Uh, we have um, TVET and universities that are participating yeah. in this uh, process of uh, industrialization of our, yeah. our province. These are certainly beautiful plans, MEC, but the people of Limpopo are not hearing about them for the first time. This time around, do you have timelines? What confidence should they have in these processes that you are about to embark? Look, we we are dealing with tangible uh, uh, processes and programs. Like I talked about Lenko, we are putting, we have already paid 50 million to start with the Fitahomu towards the SZ with Lenko. It's not a story, it's a happening. In the Fita, uh, Musina Makado SZ, we have, as a province, we have already invested 600 million. We have already done the short training, uh, the infrastructure is uh, being uh, put up there, and uh, we are saying, the dust, we are seeing the dust all over the province. And look, what is uh, interesting is that we are working with the private sector. And you know, when you have Anglo-American and Glencoe and all uh, these uh, South African companies, you are sure that uh, you are going to, to have a tangible program. You saw we launched uh, the um, hydrogen uh, car in the... in, in Mukopan. So for us, we, 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 we are sure. We are not, it's not just a talk shop. Finally then, MEC, can we say that this conference is bringing the, upon the panacea for this uh, energy crisis, the power cuts that we see happening for the people of Limpopo at least? We're not saying that uh, this conference will be a panacea of all our problems. What we say, we are starting something that the future generation will be able to move on and say at least the generation that came before us has started something. You know, uh, we don't want to, to be a generation which did not uh, leave our children without, the, I'm sure that immediately we start with this project, things will change. Remember, we are also not dealing with South African issues. We are also dealing with um, Southern African issues, which we are sure. You can see, even the Anglo-American is here, Glencoe is here, Exaro is here, and these are the companies that will help us to turn around the problem that we have in South Africa. All right, Mr. Mugoni, that's all we had time for. Thanks for yours. Mfundo Tabo Mugoni is the MEC for the Limpopo Department of Economic Development. You heard him say, saying that the, this will m manifest into practicality. And, of course, we all wait to see what will happen. And as I said, it's not for the first time that the province is making these commitments. I've just seen the Premier of Limpopo, Stan Matabata, arriving in, and we understand that the Minister of Mineral Resources, Mr. Gwere Mandashe, will be delivering the keynote address in this conference. All right, Moloko, we'll leave it there for now and catch up with you as soon as the program does, in fact, get underway. That's Moloko Moloto out in Limpopo for us. Now